Hello and welcome to a bitwise operations tutorial. A bitwise operation usually means you only want to change a single bit. This is normally done through the use of a NOT or, or AND logical operator. For example, if we wanted to change one of the zeros to a 1 in the set of binary, we would only have to take the original binary word and logical OR IT with the set of zeros and a 1 in the position of the bit you wish to manipulate from a 0 to a 1. This technique of bitwise manipulation, sometimes referred to as atomic manipulation, is the easiest. As you can see in this example code, I want to manipulate a single bit in this binary. So I load the value into register 1, or it with the necessary binary to change that 0 to a 1 and store the value in R3 and then store the value stored in R3 back into the memory location pointed to by R0, in this case variable 1. So at the end of this, the memory location of variable 1 will contain the same value as before except for that one changed bit. But there is a better way of doing this and it is called bit banding. Bit banding refers to a special feature that the Cortex M3 has where they allocated a set of memory in the SRAM and in the peripheral memory to refer to single bits in another part of the SRAM and peripheral memory. The advantage of this means that you can refer to a single memory location, write a 0 or a 1 to it, and immediately write that 0 or a 1 to another part of your memory. This is especially handy in control register situations where you are turning on and off single bits all the time. By allocating a single memory address to a single bit, this allows you to rename that memory location to a more readable name and thus segment control registers into meaningful sections. There's a specific formula you need in order to get the associated single bit banded memory location to correlate to the single bit you wish to manipulate. You first need to know where the original start address of the memory location you wish to write to. In this case, I am using the hex 2000000004 memory location because it is one of the first words written into the memory. The base address of the bit band region, that is, the region that you write to when you refer to the bit banded memory addresses is the hex 2000000 section. The base address of the actual bit band memory locations is the 22000000 memory location. This means that anything in the 22 SRAM bit band region refers to a single bit in the 20 SRAM region. You next need to know the offset from the base bit band region. In my case, it's simply hex 4. Then you multiply that offset by hex 20 and then add that to the number of the bit you wish to manipulate in your word and multiply that by 4. So in my case, I have an offset of hex 4, I multiply that by hex 20, then I add that to 3 times 4 to get me hex 14. That is, I wish to manipulate the third bit in the word associated with an offset of hex 4 from the base bit band region. I then add that offset that I got from that formula onto the base bit alias region. The bit band alias region is another name for the region that associates a memory address to a single bit. So there we have it. If you wish to manipulate the third bit in the memory location, of a word associated with 20000004, you simply need to write to 22000014, and that'll turn either your 0 to a 1 or your 1 to a 0. As usual, I've written a short example. For this example, I won't talk about all of the code contained in here, but I will go through the particular parts that are important in understanding the bit band manipulation. So first we've gone through the calculations to figure out which memory locations are associated with which bit that we wish to manipulate. We already know where our memory starts, that is, at 20000000. This means we also know that that is the starting location of the first word we will write to memory. In our case, our word will be called var1. We then know where var2 will be located, as var1 
can only be two bytes wide. Using this information, we can then determine the memory address of the alias region we wish to write to in order to manipulate a particular bit in variable 1. Most of this top code at 39 to 45 indicates the initialization of var2 and var1, so they both should have zeros in them. Starting at line 48, this is where the bit band code comes in. I first load the value 1 into register 0. This is going to be the value that I write. I then load the alias region memory location into the addr reg register. I then store the value stored in R0 into the memory location referred to by ADDR reg, which means that I will be writing a 1 to variable 1 bit 1 bit alias location. So at this moment, a bit in the bit band region should have been manipulated to change from a 0 to a 1. In our case, the first bit in the word var1. We then load the value a variable 1 into the address register and then load the value stored in variable 1 into register 1. This is to check to make sure that our write was correct. We then repeat the process except this time we write a 0 into the fifth bit of variable 2 and we again check the value. From lines 63 onward is not really involved in the bit band process and is simply part of another program that I wrote before. Here is the program running. Please pay attention to the register values located on the left hand side. This will show you when the bitband process has succeeded. 